Happy Friday to my basics bitches out there. This is Friday No Filter, where we unleash the rant on the basics of health. Each Friday, we tear down the glossy facade and dive headfirst into the nitty gritty of what it takes to thrive and the chaos of modern health. No frills, no fluff, just straight talk about what matters. It's time to embrace the chaos on your own journey and give a big, bold middle finger to the status quo. motherfucking Friday. I hope you are doing well this Friday. Uh, hard to believe we are pff, well into April at this point. I'm just mind blown that this is where we're at. Even my kids were talking about the fact that it's like, holy crap, we're going to be sophomore soon. I'm like, shut up. Just shut up. Yeah, mom, when can we start driver's training? Just shut up. We're not doing any of it. You're not growing up. Bah. Right? Crazy how time is moving so fast. So uh, welcome back. I'm excited to have you here for another uh, Friday No Filter. And it is going to be a heavy hitter, but it is going to be pretty fucking quick. Um, that is like the whole point, right? <laughs> okay. Anyways, so as we, as I had mentioned, just if you're not in my free Facebook group, I'm doing a whole like month challenge there. There is a winner, obviously, because I like winners. Um but there is a winner there if you want to show up, uh, talking about consistency, showing up for yourself, what 80% consistent looks like, why these things are important, picking one thing and getting really good at it. So if you didn't listen to Wednesday's episode, I talk about it towards the end of the episode, but you're able to join. I will allow people to join in through the end of the week. Um, but then starting on Monday, it's just going to be what we're doing. So uh, I hope to have you in there. And if you came from the podcast, you know, put a little thingy in there. Like when you join in the group, like, hey, from the podcast, heard on the podcast, I'd love to to give you a little shout out. So thank you. I appreciate you for that. Also, I don't know who the fuck is listening to me. And where are you at? <sighs> I got some new listeners, <laughs> which is like it's super fun. Like the, the data that we can collect here um, from this but where are you at? Okay. I have some people um, in Sydney listening. I got some people in Istanbul. Hey, Istanbul, how's it going? California, Vegas, whoever's in Chico, California. What the fuck is up? Edmonton, shouting out to you. Rapid City, uh, Brighton. I don't, I think this is not like Brighton, Michigan, but Brighton somewhere in the middle of the country. I got you. Frisco, Kansas City. Appreciate y'all. Uh, Signal Mountain. These are new. Like I've never heard of these. Um, South Wark over in the over in the UK up there. Uh, Hamilton. Some other ones I can't even pronounce. So hey, I see you guys. I appreciate you and thanks for uh, signing in here today. Well, someday <laughs> in the last week. Thank you. Um, okay, so what we got Friday? You know, I think part of our problem is that. Oftentimes we focus on this huge fucking goal that we got. Oh, I got 80 pounds to lose. I got a hundred pounds to lose. I got 50 pounds to lose. I got 20 pounds to lose. And it seems so big. If we were to just break down each individual day, can you just focus on what you need to get done today? Just focus on today. Win today. Do it today. Don't worry about fucking tomorrow. Don't worry about what you got, ha what happened yesterday. Don't worry about what you got going on in a month. Fucking just focus on today. And I understand that planning is important. Planning is imperative. Those kinds of things. And I understand that. But if you're planning for a whole week, then you don't have to necessarily worry about anything but focusing and sticking to the plan for the day. That's it. That's all you have to do is worry about the plan for the day and then move the fuck on and then worry about when you wake up the next day, this is the plan today. That's kind of like how I get consistent, like getting up at 5 a.m. Okay, I didn't really enjoy getting up at 5 a.m., but I did it anyways and I know my whole day was better for it. I will say this, over the course of the summertime and through the beginning, even up until recently, until um, high school swim has stopped, I my whole, my whole stuff was, my whole routine was different. Everything was different. The moment high school swim ended and I went back to 5 a.m. training session, waking up at 5 a.m., getting my workout done early, I am a completely different person. My husband said so. My kids said so. They're like, oh my gosh, you're so much better again. Like that's how much that that will affect you. That is how much that getting into a really good set routine, even when you don't want to, is so important, right? Right? It's so important. And my very good friend, she was on my podcast. Her name is Kelsey Lensman. And she uh, did Mission 48. If you listen to that podcast, it's a while ago over, um, I think it was May, May or August. It had to have been like May or June because uh, I went to Ohio to see her. Um, anyways, so she was on my podcast 
And she always says this piece that is kind of a gut punch, but it's the honest to God truth. And she always says, your results are hiding in the work you don't want to do. Your results are hiding in the work you don't want to do. You guys, the results that you desire is in the very thing that you refuse to acknowledge, to bring awareness to. It's in the very thing. Oh, I want to lose weight. Well, that's your food, honey. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I can't walk. I don't care. I mean, I care that you can't walk, but like that has nothing to do with your weight. <laughs> it's your food. You're overconsuming food. If you can't walk, it's going to make everything harder. Absolutely. Right? Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. It does matter, but it's like not everything. So it's in the exact thing. So your results, the thing that you desire is in the thing that you're just, you cannot get your head around. You cannot wrap your brain around. You cannot move forward with. That is where it is hiding from you. And that could be for anything. That could be for anything. Right? I, I had mentioned how like, man, right now it's just like, I don't want to track my food. Well, guess what? The, the desired result that I want right now is hiding in the lack of my tracking food. And that sucks because it's like, fuck, man. I don't want to do that. Well, guess what, honey? Go out and win the day. Circle the W, the dub, right? That's the whole entire like premise of getting really good is focusing. Yes, we have a bigger picture to look at, right? We have a month. We have, uh, we have all sorts of whatevers. Like, you know, we have a life, we have a job, we have these things we have to plan. And those things do matter. Bigger picture does matter. But at the end of the day, it's really about just doing one day at a time, one thing at a time. Okay, I got up at 5 a.m. I did my, okay, now what's next? Now I need to make sure I have a solid balanced meal on the back end of this so that I don't, you know, one, I can repair my muscles that I, I trained at the gym and to make sure I set myself up to hitting my protein. And I was going to say, so I don't ruin it. That's actually what was just going to come out of my mouth. Set up my day so I don't ruin what I just did at the gym. You can't ruin necessarily what you did at the gym. That's not even really a thing, but it's what my brain wanted to say. I was like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> that's not it at all. But you want to set yourself up so that you can be successful. If I'm getting in 140 grams of protein right now, if I have, uh, if I go to IHOP and just have some pancakes with syrup and butter, well, I'm not helping my goal. I'm not, I'm not doing the thing to get the result. So you have to be willing to do the thing to get the result that you don't want to do. It's hiding in the shit. It's buried. It's dug up. Dug down, deep down, I don't fucking know. It's buried. <laughs> you got to dig it up. How about that, right? It's in the things that you don't want to do. You just have to go win the motherfucking day. That's your job. That's how you get consistent. You plan for what you can, and then you just do the best that you can. The key is, is that when that day does not go as planned, what can you shift and adjust the next day to win it? What can you shift and adjust the next day after that? Do you even need to shift and adjust? All those matter. Okay. All of it matters. So win the day. I'd love to hear what are you doing today to win the day? Are you joining my free Facebook group so that you can get fucking consistent as shit this month and learn what that looks like and feels like and how to get there? Cause that's all the things that I'm going to be, excuse me, that all the things I'm going to be teaching you. So I hope to see you in the free Facebook group. If you come from here, if you're on here and you're like, Hey, came from your podcast. Cool. Awesome stellar. I'm so excited to have you again. Thanks for all the people who are, you know, uh, joining in on the podcast. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, but again, if you got something from this or you ever get things from this, please screenshot, share, rate, review all the stuff so that I can get into more ears. It's the only way that I can do it. I'm not a big believer. I know I'm a big believer in asking for help. I'm not good at it. Let's say that I'm not a good person of asking for help. I don't do it very well, but I'm asking, I'm asking that you screenshot and share the fuck out of this episode or this podcast in general. And I would greatly appreciate you forever and ever. I'll still greatly appreciate you, but I'll appreciate you forever and ever and ever never. Okay. You guys have an amazing weekend. 
Thanks so much for listening today. If you laughed, learned, or just felt a vibe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your support keeps this ass train chugging along. If you're ready to embrace the basics with a twist, follow me on social media. Links are in the show notes and let's see the ways we can work together. All right, basics bitches. You're not just listeners. You're part of the revolution. Remember, skinny's out, basics are in, and you're looking damn good doing it. So until next time, stay basic.